Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I have a trading masterclass for you all after honestly another extremely successful day of trading, they're just coming again and again and again at the moment, where I am absolutely loving trading cryptocurrency so I hope that you're strapped in and ready for today's video because it's going to be a good one where I'm going to be covering Bitcoin and then the stars of the show which are iCoin iCoin, <laughs> Icon and Fetch. Okay, Fetch is the new coin that is being listed on Binance, which I generally stay away from, but the technicals were there and they made for an extremely profitable day of trading. So uh, not going to complain here. Uh, so I hope you're ready for this and let's cover swiftly Bitcoin. Okay, and it's going to be swift uh, because really not much has happened. <laughs> so from the last video, we were obviously looking at this, um, you know, the parallel channel, the sculpers paradise, so to speak, where we're just literally going from the bottom to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, you know, had, heading up now back to the top of the parallel channel. Okay, and this is very much a sculpers trading range. Okay, swing traders are still looking for the move up to enter shorts or to the bottom and to look for longs. Okay, while not really taking a position in the middle okay um, you know, I have covered this in a lot more detail in today's trading view post, which was, you know, five hours ago. So I'll leave this into the, in the description if you would like a longer term look at Bitcoin, which I've covered for you all here. Oh, this is this is only my alternate account. Um, I'm going to cover my main account possibly tomorrow in a in a bigger technical analysis on Bitcoin Elliott Wave count. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, you can come over, which I'll leave in the description for my Elliott Wave count here on Bitcoin, which is obviously moving up for the Wave 2 at the moment, but before we come down for 3, 4, 5 <laughs> in the sea. So I'll leave that in the description. Uh, you know, here we're still obviously in the trading range. Enough said about Bitcoin. Let's move on to the stars, which are, let's start with Icon. Okay, yeah, let's start with Icon. Why not? Uh, which today uh, was, I'll cover actually what's happened today at once I've gone through, you know, catching up over what's over, happened over the last 19, 20 days or so on Icon, because this has just been honestly a technical masterpiece of a coin to trade. OK, the technicals have been respected to the dot every single time. And just technical analysis is just this is what we love as traders. OK, as a full time trader, this is just, you know, the dream coin to be trading. It's just been an Oh, excuse me so much. Honestly, sorry. Um, <laughs> this, uh, just been an absolute joy to trade. OK where the technical analysis has just been absolutely perfect. Okay, absolutely perfect on this coin. So I'm going to be covering these notes in detail and explaining like what you should be looking for here when we're buying and when we're selling. Okay, and the targets that we would get. Okay, so let's just start on the daily time frame first. On the daily, uh, try and envision that I don't have any. Oh, we can. Okay, we can envision that we don't have anything. Cool. So obviously, when we're looking at this chart with nothing on the screen, let's imagine that none of this on the right hand side is here. What would you be looking for when you're coming down for a buy here? OK, you are going to be looking for the double bottom. OK, the double bottom is what you you know, horizontal support. You'd be looking here for your buy. OK, and just think to yourself, this is where you're going to be looking to buy, especially when you see this lower wick like this on a double bottom support. That's a massive shouting at you to buy the coin. <laughs> um, but yeah, first, you'd be looking for the double bottom. And then where will your targets be? Well, horizontal resistance here in this region and then horizontal resistance in this region and then horizontal resistance in this region okay so this is obviously on the daily time frame where you're going to be entering a trade for a few weeks uh, generally in a swing trade on for the daily time frame where we'll be entering here obviously top targets here but while simultaneously targeting resistances horizontally on the way up okay so now let's add everything back in and let me explain in detail how this was you know the perfect coin that i've been trading um, <laughs> and so here we're going to be firstly going off this obviously as i was mentioning earlier the double bottom where technically this is what we love to see because the reason why double bottom is so nice is because you have such a small you know, potential loss to what you're going to be looking for as a gain. That if you're buying on this double bottom with stops, you know, it's literally just below the double bottom area and you'd be targeting first up to this range, which is obviously a 28%. Currently from this buy, it's 73% up in literally a few weeks. But your first buy is not going to be that high. Okay, your first buy is, you know, your first target is obviously going to be this horizontal resistance region, which I can uh, clear up some of these red arrows. But this is just highlighting that here was horizontal resistance. Okay. Uh, so that's cleared up and then okay that obviously traded extremely nicely at no point would you been stopped out in this move and you would have literally come up here let's move to the four hour to make it a little bit clearer you'd have literally bought in on the double bottom come up straight away and you've you know you've hit your take profit target absolutely perfect okay then what would be your options once you've done the take profit target you're generally going to be looking to buy a retracement okay very healthy 
can we see from the bottom here to the top what do we retrace down to we retrace down to touching it to the tick to the tick we touch the 382 not once but twice if you see here we come up touch it come down come back up again touch it what happens we come down for another double bottom <laughs> another double bottom on the 382 holding support extremely nicely on a 382 resistance if you were not that confident in buying a 382 resistance okay many traders aren't going to be confident in buying re retracements there was an even easier trade to take okay and this was the most easiest trade in the world that you see resistance breaking what happens resistance flips into support what did we get here on icon you know on this green arrow right here we have a break up from resistance okay break up from resistance and you come back down and hold that old resistance as support here okay and this then if you were too scared to buy the 382 okay potentially you might have been then you would have bought this this is a massive buy signal that a resistance you know a big resistance flips into support okay that's your next buy and as you see here resistance was then broken after two weeks okay so we were in two weeks looking for the resistance to be breaking with um da, 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 i can't even remember what i wrote here to be honest uh that we are then taught well i don't even know why i need to have this wrote up because i can just explain it um yeah there's no need to have all this wrote up because i'm just going to explain it so basically what what happens is once you hold this at support you're going to be aiming up for your next target which is the the daily resistance level up here which was another i think that's what i had wrote here actually just saying how much it was okay so we were looking at about a 25 percent gain from obviously this double bottom which well not a double bottom but the the, the support and resistance touch from the three two it was a 36 percent gain okay more risk more rewards but then what we get here is an absolute perfect scenario where what happens again we move up and we touch we, we literally come up and touch this resistance level and we get rejected here okay this is still good you know this is good news that we get rejected because there you've you know you've got at least a 25 percent gain what what happens we come back down again so you've just realized 25 percent profits you come back down again <laughs> okay and you get exactly the same scenario lining up again where this old resistance is still holding a support where we hold a support extremely nicely you know literally extremely nicely and you get what happens again you get another exact same move up okay you get the another 25 percent trade there okay just coming up to this resistance level and then you would be looking at okay you would be look obviously on this move you come straight back down through all all support levels you just come smashing down through everything in one solid candle and this was obviously when bitcoin had its downwards movement but here you obviously are you know obviously you have the potential of laddering down to the bottom or just trying to see what holds the support on this one you obviously had zero support and you come all the way down to the bottom in one solid candle um so you wouldn't have even had time to think about your supports that you're buying on once you got stopped out once but on this try you obviously see three eight two happening again okay but that's just um just one thing that you should be noticing that you're obviously holding support again on the on the fibonacci okay and what did i write here price comes down to test support again which holds perfect okay, okay so this was referring to this that we obviously had the perfect bounce again here for a second 25 um 25 percent move up okay but this time the, the resistance was weakened okay so the resistance was weakened what happens we come back up and we test the 30 yeah 31 cent resistance okay which is this resistance line here okay and this is what happened overnight and now i'm going to zoom in and explain what i've been trading today okay so obviously when i woke up today we had hit the take profit target of 31 cents okay so i woke up this morning so literally 0 0.03 but you know we can just move this up to 31 cents to make it easier okay so 31 cents exactly was my take profit and i closed out the position fully overnight and this is one where i done a uh, kind of a signal call this was the first time i i don't normally do signals i've been doing some privately for people but you know they've been paying um and I generally am not a signal caller, but I really think that I should be because I have been, you know, getting, well, I, I, you know, I could easily do signal calls and be very successful. But uh, currently I don't do them officially. But this morning I said in my, this is over on the uh, Patreon um, members only average students group chat that we have that we you know this is what happened this morning i was saying that my sell order was here at 31 cents okay uh, because people were asking about icx and obviously as an average student they can ask whatever they want and i'll do the technical analysis but you know here we have my pro my take profit was 31 cents and we hit and we were then in the middle of the range and i'm saying buy the support at 29 okay so sell order was here at 31 i will buy on the green support level okay what happened obviously well we'll go through but first i just wanted to big up me uh average students obviously are calling this uh, extremely nicely over there just saying you know this is the support this is the level to be but where i'm personally buying not so obviously i'm not a financial advisor but saying this is where i'm buying uh you can follow me probably should because i'm a very good trader but this is where i'm going to be buying on the on the support level right now 
okay and then i just want to go through this that i posted later on saying the targets okay so this was obviously where you're buying okay stop losses and then targets of the 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 618 fibonacci level let's let's go through what's happened today okay um obviously we have so i woke up and we were looking at like this okay and this is a point where a lot of people get scared they see a big bearish candle in continuation coming down am i scared no just waiting for this this support again resistance we're seeing here resistance this green line was the big resistance level okay so the big resistance again flipping into perfect support literally flipping into perfect support what do we get we kind of get a tweezer bottom just perfect nice to see as well but you see two wicks down onto that support so again we got resistance flipping to support for what now like the third or fourth time on icon uh technically perfect to trade and again as i showed in the average students group that the target is going to be 0 0.5 to 618 what happened today we come up literally on the last hour now we come up wicked onto the target and then it fell fell back down okay i'm still holding out 50 percent of my position onto the 618 here but you know i'm extremely happy either way with this trade it's been you know easy 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 gains uh for me and the average students today just on here just trading icon okay so that was icon that i wanted to cover for you all in detail not so much what's happening now but you know on the overall scheme of things that hope hopefully you can learn from this and you know see identify double bottoms identify resistances and you can just see from the double bottom we come up and hit resistance got a 382 retracement then what happens we come back up hit resistance well fully on this candle obviously retraced all the way back down in once where you would have got stopped out once if you tried to buy the 382 okay but obviously you come back down so fast you would have had no time to think about it so you got would have got stopped out once with the three two, but you come back down and buy again for the support, okay? And then you come back up, t test, go through and test the next level of resistance, which was obviously thirty one cents, and you then come back down to this level and buy support again <laughs> for then coming up. This was an intraday, so this is what I call an intraday sort of scalping range, okay? That's only why I was targeting the zero point five because this is a scalping sort of intraday trading range, okay? so that's why we were buying here and selling here okay so obviously a scope uh, a swing trader could be targeting different levels but for intraday trading extremely extremely successful profitable range um to just to be trading okay and then we're zoom back out to the four hour um and yeah i think that's everything that i want to discuss on this just technically perfect and i mean if you add up all the gains that you would have had okay from buying here that's a that's a 20 20 30 percent gain followed by another 25 percent gain followed by one loss of maybe about let's just say five percent followed by another 25 percent gain followed by buying the retracement of another say 15 percent gain and then today another five percent gain that's just unreal gains from icon um and a coin that i fundamentally really like and the, obviously there's you know i don't trade off fundamentals i only trade from the charts but i do like icon uh, i do think it has a good future uh, I, you know, I hear news about the Samsung wallet and things like this on the S10. I know I have no involvement. Possibly this it's not going to happen and people will then realize that it's not happening and then they'll sell. I have no idea if it's going to happen or not. But, you know, from the technicals, it's looking nice. But obviously we are now running into a, a, a bit of a resistance point here. OK, horizontally. And if we break this, then, you know, this can run. But obviously we are entering into a resistance level here. OK, but then if we break that, then, you know, Icon has a really nice gap of, you know, little resistance that it could possibly run to. Um, but just be careful with the news. Fundamentally, I'm not sure what's happening with the Icon wallet on the Samsung S10 mobile. So just be careful of that, because if it's not there, then people are going to sell most likely. But um, yeah, technically, it's really nice. And you yeah, that's what I want to say about Icon. It's just been an absolute money maker. Um, so, yeah, Fetch. Let's move on to Fetch, which is obviously the new coin on Icon. Okay, and I highlighted this this morning for you all. Um, where was it? This morning I highlighted that Fetch, as expected, started with a pump and dump as normal on these exchange listings. And as I said, one has to wait for the exponential moving averages to flip into support. Okay, so when a coin gets listed on the in an exchange, you always get this sort of pump and followed by an immediate dump. Okay. And obviously here we had a dump from the very top to the bottom of around 35% in a, in a matter of what, eight hours moving down 35%, a massive dump. Okay. That, that's, that, <laughs> I don't like the word, but you know, obviously the massive word, the massive word, the massive, you know, dump that we did see here on the price of FET. So what you want to be doing is having your exponential moving averages out like I was doing <laughs> and just waiting for a nice close above the 55. Obviously you're going to have to give it time for the 55 to appear, but, um, you're waiting for this 55 EMA to act as support. And as I highlighted 
earlier for you all that this was you know this was the candle where you move above obviously here you move above but what happens you don't hold it as support so here you move above but you come straight back down here you move above and what happens you hold it as support once twice with another tweezer bottom candle pair okay so you hold it here and then you'd have had about an hour to think about buying in here but obviously it just gets nicer as it moves along but you hold it on a tweezer bottom 55 EMA bullish exponential moving averages okay and from there you know it begins <laughs> it begins the trading day uh which my main focus was on this all day to be honest but um here we go on the 15 minute time frame all stemming from the exponential moving averages and this is where we're being patient although we are seeing the potential wave one two i was not buying on the bottom of this being a bottom of wave two i was waiting for the emas to turn bullish okay so uh well actually i was asleep while this was happening anyway so i wouldn't have even bought in here but but you know i woke up and saw that the emas were, were bullish and even if you had bought in uh, from this level, then that's still a 10% gain from this pullback that you had here. That's you could have still bought in on the you know the the 26 hit the sorry the 12 ex, 12 exponential moving average here, and that's still another 10% gain here. So even if you had missed out here and got in halfway through, there's still the 10% gain. Uh, okay, somebody just subscribed. Thank you. <laughs> um, so what we're seeing here is obviously overall then we had a one two and then a one two three four five within the wave three okay and this is what i was just looking today of the one two then we move up for a three four five okay within wave three okay so that was just very simply a five waves within the third wave sculpting all day okay and this is why we had the pullback here because this was the, the sub wave three getting the pullback for four onto the exponential moving averages before we moved up for the fifth okay and i did say everybody warning people before this dump happened as well saying that we are going to be moving down here for wave four because of how we were forming bearish divergences so i uh, noted this okay since the those exponentials crossed bullish this morning we have formed bearish divergences okay which i'll cover for you now but just showing that i was you know sold 60 percent of my position at 45 uh, cents and now we're sat on 42 after a big move down okay so again just calling it absolutely perfectly um you can tell i do this i do this a lot <laughs> um but basically what we're looking at here was firstly the you know a warning sign that we've seen five sub waves up you're going to be moving moving back down here okay you're going to be moving down after you saw five waves up in standard elliott wave theory but on top of that we saw extremely big bearish divergences you see very big the price was moving upwards we see very big bearish divergences on the histogram and also bearish divergences on the rsi while price moves up the obviously are our oscillators are moving down so bearish divergences that was a sell signal uh, as well as seeing one two three four five in wave three we're very much expecting a move down okay where now we would be looking for around the 0 0.5 retracement possibly okay coming down safer to really the the 618 region down to this you know green level of support where i'm laddering in from the 0 0.5 down to here well i well i'll take you know a see what happens here okay i will ladder in and possibly we just come all the way back down and now the moves over but uh yeah i'm happy with taking the risk after such big gains today to be honest so that's how i'm looking at this please don't follow me um not financial advice uh, i will confirm possibly in in the average students group or even over on twitter uh what i'm be doing on this coin but don't just blindly jump in and follow me on this coin because this is really risky now this is now a risky buy okay we've seen a dump we've seen another pump and now we only have the potential of a wave five so be careful with this uh and wait for some confirmation before you buy at least but again i'm not your financial advisor so uh don't listen to me <laughs> i'm just a trader um so yeah that was that and you know really 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 nice day of trading uh let's just see on the terms of extensions as well uh, da, 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 da. extension fibonacci okay really nice hitting the two to two extension okay so obviously yeah, hit the two to two extension and then coming back down in my opinion for way four but um let's see how that goes i mean what a day of trading and this is why i live for trading i absolutely love it as, as you all know i do this full time for a job but you know this is not a job this is a total hobby and just an amazing money making you know i love trading markets it's, it's just an absolute joy so fun so 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 fun and i hope that you all can take my passion and you know learn from these videos and just enjoy it it's just so fun it does not have to be hard you know these trades that i've identified for you all today you know fair literally looking at exponential moving averages and the icon you know a, a, a tiny little bit more advanced but not really that hard theory um 
you know, it's just really, really nice to trade. And now we're just going back to Bitcoin and sculpting this trade trading range. You know, I love, I'm a, you all know I'm a big sculptor and a big love, absolutely love sculpting where I don't care if the price goes up or the price goes down. Okay, you make money either way. It doesn't matter as a sculptor where the price goes. Um, so yeah, it's fun. I really, really enjoy it. And I'm happy that, obviously it's really funny that my last few videos have been my most disliked videos ever. A lot of people are suddenly uh, disliking my videos, but again, I do not mind. I don't care if you dislike the videos, it's not gonna stop me making them. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, but a lot of people have started disliking my videos heavily. Um, but yeah, I have zero effect by that, don't care. Um, yeah, I, I, I know the people, the majority of you like it and it's uh, and are very supportive. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Ah yeah, remembering while I'm on the subject, uh, the, the live stream, the live stream where I'm going to be announcing the winners of the giveaway, which is going to be well done to whoever gets this coaching session because, you know, knowledge is power. So whoever wins the coaching session is going to be very, very uh, grateful. Of, of very knowledgeable at the end of it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing all the obviously the free one on one coaching session for the winner. And then the second place to Neo and, and possibly now 15 ontology, whatever, <laughs> whatever happens with ontology. But you know, these are just secondary prizes. The first, obviously, the main focus being the giveaway of, of my time and coaching. Um, so this is going to be hosted. What I was this is what the main thing I was gonna say. This is going to be possibly i think next well definitely going to be next week and i'm looking at the 6th 7th or 8th so that's wednesday thursday or friday i'm going to confirm the exact day closer to the time next week but at the moment i'm looking at wednesday thursday wednesday thursday or friday to do this giveaway live stream so uh, i'll make the live stream fun and we can all come along and and have a nice chat um but yeah um while, I, while I'm on the topic, because it's the first of the month, so I like to shield on the first of the month here, that obviously I've got the pe Patreon charges you the first of the month. So signups, if you signed up now, then you obviously get the whole month for, you know, average students 45, where you get access to the members only chat, where I'm doing chart of the week. And also on Sundays, every Sunday, I do a, a members only technical analysis video where I cover, you know, lessons of this week. I'm actually going to continue with Fibonacci, giving a Fibonacci rundown. And I do this thing called chart of the week um, and then just take questions and answer questions where we've got some questions that I'm going to be running through here as well, uh, which is going to be on this Sunday. So if you're interested in Fibonacci, I would like to learn a bit more about that. Come over. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be keeping obviously different subjects every week. We'll be looking at uh, how to play stop losses, how to do Elliott waves, etc, 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 etc. All the good trading jargon. <laughs> um, so obviously, yeah, that that's for the average students. The keen students are for if you want to DM me. OK, you can only DM me if you are a keen student or average student because I don't have the time to reply to everybody. So if you would like to come across and join the average students, which you know includes everything, or the keen student if you would just like to access to my DMs, obviously the average students you get a lot more. Um, and then for the last here, if you would just like to say thank you, is the uh, trading crew trip tip jar, where you can then, uh, I've added it because from high request that uh, the tr any of the members as well can, uh, the avid trading or keen students can post gifts on the, on our chat over here so as you can see you can only post these gifts if you are a uh, valid member of the uh, of the uh, of, of my crew <laughs> so that's a nice little bonus if you want to but if not then just come across and say hi on discord absolutely just come across and say hi you don't have to join if you don't want to uh, this is just optional and extra which i do think is very much worth it and if i do start this um signal group which you know, I do think that it would be cool to do a signal group because I could make a lot of people a lot of money. Um, I, Yeah, honestly, I could. So I'm looking into signal groups because I do think that it would be beneficial for everybody. Obviously, I can charge for joining and just by saying what trades I'm entering. So for me, it's zero extra work uh, and other people can benefit by, you know, getting very good profits. So that's something I'm looking into, but it would be first over here on, on average students as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it for you. It's been a loving trade. Well, you all know I love trading anyway, but just these last few weeks, months of trading have just been, you know, since November on cryptocurrency, it's just been a whirlwind of funness every day. Uh, so I've, I've loved it. And uh, may lot may live may it live may it be my Bitcoin, as I say, be my Bitcoin. <laughs> I love cryptocurrency. Love trading it. Obviously, the stock market recovering again today. Uh, I'm still in from 2,812. So uh, zero worries about what's going on over here. But, you know, very nice um, to see all markets. And this is why market di diversification is key. OK, I'm still obviously heavily trading on the stock market, uh, on the stock market, on the cryptocurrency market. But I have obviously still not stopped on the stocks. Um, you know, look at Tesla and Square. That is 
bad bad moves down from tester and square today but uh, the, the volatility index as well. This is one that I longed up to $15 and I got in very close to the bottom here and got this up to $15 and I closed and now obviously we're coming back down. So, you know, the potential, let's see if we form a higher low here, but the volatility index balls, you know, very weak. Uh, but I was very, you know, played a very nice position on the bounce there. Um, so again, making profits on every single market. Um, so yeah, very nice, very good. And I uh, hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'm going to wrap it up here. Come over and say hi on, on Discord. If you would like, come across on Patreon and join. And if not, uh, make sure you check out this longer look uh, view on Bitcoin if you would if you would like. No, no uh, obligations. <laughs> um, so hope you've enjoyed. Thank you, everybody, so much. Thank you all for the support. Honestly, it means so much. Um, yeah, thank you, everybody, again. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Cheers.